Hello guys, back here with another video. Now today I'm going to show you how to download um, Screen Packs to your Mugen. So let's get started. What you want to do is just open up your browser and you want to type up Mugen 1.1 or 1.0, whatever one that you want. Then you want to hit enter. If you've already got Mugen and Ra, just just don't just don't follow the step then. Now while that's loading. You want to type up RA, RA Lab, all these links will be in the description down below, so don't type them up. So once you're on Mugen 1.1, you want to click the first one. Okay, once you're on RA, you should either have all these versions, you should have versions, a lot of them. So if you're running a Mac and you're watching this video, I recommend you using and downloading this one. Now, if you're on a Linux, I'm assuming that you have to download these ones. Now, if you're on a Windows that I, which I am running on, I'm running on a 64-bit um, processor. So, what you want to do is just click download 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on which one's compatible with your PC or laptop. Now, once you've downloaded that, you can just exit out of this. Once you're on Mugen Guild, you just want to scroll down until you see these. Mugen 1.0 and 1.1 beta. Now, you can download whichever one you want, but the one that I've downloaded is 1.1 beta since it's the latest, well, as far as I know. So, once you've downloaded that, you can just X out of all of these. Then you want to type up screen packs, Mugen, 1.1, or whatever version you're running, download. So, once you've typed that up, you should click the first one, Mugen Archive. Then you want to scroll down. Then there should be three categories for your things, for your screen packs. Click whatever one you want. I'm going to click Capcom. Then once you've clicked the category that you want, you want to scroll down. Then you should see all these well screen packs. Now there are a lot. The one that I'm going to download is going to be. Uh, Street Fighter Mugen Tournament. So, once you've clicked on the one the screen pack that you want, you want to scroll down and click download. Now it's just downloading right now. So, just wait for that. So, once it's downloaded, what you want to do is just click it or wherever it's located. I'm just going to open mine. Through my um, downloads folder. So it should. Okay. Like that. Now, as you can see, no, you cannot see. It's right over here. Street Fighter Mugen tournament. You want to open up your file. You want to minimize that. Then you should see this. Your Street Fighter Mugen folder, or whatever screen pack you downloaded. Now the one that you want, the files that you want, is just data and font. That's all you want. Now once you've downloaded that, well, dragged it to your desktop, you want to open up your Mugen folder. You want to just put that to the side. And then you want to copy these, data and font, and add them to your Mugen directory. Not into your data folder, but into your Mugen directory. Then this should come up, the destination, or replace the files on the destination. You want to click yes. Now once it's done that, then you want to click on your Mugen. Now as you can see, it worked. And I'm just going to go on training. Now as you can see, there are a lot more um, slots. So, and you might, you might be wondering, like, where's your characters in there? I'm going to show you how to select them and add them. So, what you want to do is just, say you already had um, characters in your child folder. I'm just going to add um, a character, just for an example. So, I'm going to add Cyber Akuma. All you want to do is just right-click on your character folder. You want to rename it, and then you want to copy it. Now, once you've done that, you want to... Add it to your char folder. Then you want to just go back, go into your data, scroll down, 
to select.dev, you want to click that. I'm going to just full screen that. Now, as you can see, it just comes up with these. Now, you want to go on the one that says KFM or the first character um, that was on the screen. You want to just press enter to add a slot of your character. Then you want hit, um, hit control V to um, add the pasted name. Or you could just do right click and then paste. And then what you want to do is just go into your file and then save. So once you've done that, you can just exit out of everything. You want to go back into your Mugen. Click your Mugen. Then you want to open up training. Now as you can see, there's my character, Cyber Akuma. Now thank you very much guys for joining me in the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell and peace.